So let's start with a little bit of review of our axiom so far. Axiom 0 says a line is a proper subset of the universal set, so we have to have at least a line and something else. Axiom 1, every line is a set of points having at least two members, so every line needs at least two points. Axiom 2, there exist two points, and each two points belong to some line. So that one says that for every two points, I should be able to draw a line between them. And these are the axioms of alignment. So now I'm going to look at adding the next axiom, axiom 3, which is the metric axiom. So the metric axiom is going to introduce the idea of distance. For every pair of points AB, we can associate a real number that we're going to note by AB, which is the distance between them. And the metric axiom has to satisfy two properties, so this distance has to satisfy two things. First, distance must always be greater than or equal to zero, and the only time it's zero is if A is equal to B. So in order to say a distance is zero, I need to have two of the same points. The distance from A to A is zero. Any other distance, if A and B are two distinct points, has to be positive. And the other property is symmetry. AB is equal to BA. The distance from A to B is the same as the distance from B to A. This idea of distance and the metric concept is, tends to actually include a third property called the triangle inequality. Triangle inequality states that the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C has to be greater than or equal to the distance from A to C. Essentially, the shortest, point the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. We're not actually going to include this in our axiom, and that's because we're actually going to prove that it has to be true later. And a set of points that satisfies axiom 3, as well as the triangle inequality, is known as a metric space. And we can actually take any set of points and make them satisfy these axioms, as well as the triangle inequality. So let's look at how to do that. This is going to be known as the discrete metric. So we're going to start with any set of points. In order to be a metric, we need to have this idea of distance. If A is not the same thing as B, then we define the distance to be equal to 1. And if they are equal, we define the distance to be 0. So essentially, the distance between any two discrete, distinct points we're going to call 1. We also need an idea of a line, and so any, a line is going to be any pair of discrete point, distinct points. So pick two points, and we'll put a line between them for every single two points. So here I have a bunch of stars, and we're going to say these stars are my points. So if I pick a random one, like this one right here, and I want to know its distance to this one right here, it would be 1. Equivalently, the distance from this one to this one right here is 1, since they're distinct. Between this one right here and this one right here, also 1. So if I pick any pair of points, their distance is going to be 1. As far as lines, we'll have a line between each of them. So I'm not going to draw them all, but we get the idea. For every two points, we're going to have a line between them. So what about the triangle inequality? Does it hold? So is it true? that the triangle inequality holds in this space. I did call it a metric space, so it makes sense that it would hold, but we do need to check. Let's start by saying that A, B, and C are all different. In that case, the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C, this is going to be 1 plus 1. And then the distance between A to C is also going to be 1. So the first one, does hold. If they're all different, it will hold. What if they're all the same point? Then the distance between A to B is 0, the distance between B to C is 0, and the distance from A to C is also 0. So we just have zeros. The next thing to consider is if two of them are the same. Let's start by assuming A is equal to B. Then the distance from A to B is 0, B to C is 1, and A to C is 1, so I have 1 greater than or equal to 1. So, so far my triangle inequality is held. This time, what if B is equal to C? So AB is 1, BC is 0, and AC is 1, so that holds. So now we just need the final thing, A equal to C. For that one, we have the distance from A to B is 1, B to C is 1, and A to C is 0. 
So the triangle inequality does hold. These are all of the possible cases that we could consider.